Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show a demo on how to do manual mapping at the time of the loading of the data from SQL table into the Excel sheet. So how to get only required columns from the required column data from a table. So manual mapping comes into the scenario only when auto mapping is failed. When auto mapping is auto mapping is failed, when there is difference between the column names of the columns between source and destination and vice versa. Automating auto mapping fails. At the time we need to involve and do manual mapping as per the our requirement. So currently I have one table called DIM employee in our adventure works database. So there are around 31 columns. 31 columns are there in this table. But I don't want to load all this table data. I, I want to load only uh, required data into the Excel sheet. So the Excel sheet is in, is in my desktop with the EMP name. If you open the Excel sheet, currently that there is no data. Even column names also is not there. Header names also is not there. So now I am creating the header names with a little bit difference in names of the columns. Only the required columns I am taking. Instead of employee key, I am taking as an employee ID here. Employee ID. And first name. First name I am considering as the first underscore name. First underscore name. And last name as last underscore name. Middle name, middle underscore name. After that, we have higher date. So I will keep remaining this column name as same as like SQL table. Higher date and birth date. Birth date I am taking as year DOB. DOB in Excel sheet. Login ID I am considering as a user underscore ID and email address I am taking as a just email just mail mail and mail address mail address and phone number in phone and SQL table so I am changing it as a phone underscore number underscore number and finally the department name. department name I am I mentioned here in extra state is department depart DPT underscore name so in Excel in Excel there is in Excel there are 31 columns no, I don't want to load all these 31 columns. I require, I want to take only data from 10 columns data. So uh, here in the the table contains 296 records, 296 rows. So I, I want to load all 296 data for required columns, required 10 columns only. So here uh, we we, you know, we keep it as high data as it is and change the remaining nine columns with different names so how to map, how to do manual mapping and how to load the data i am taking the package new package dragging data flow task into the control plane double click here i am my source is here oledb now i am taking the oledb source here I am taking the new here, new adventure works is my admin and adventure works. I am selecting the table, my table is demon by columns. So here all 31 columns are there. So I am ok. Now I am dragging the Excel destination as my destination. Double click. Taking new browse. So 
my EMP is the EMP sheet is the next step. I'm taking the next sheet. Okay. okay. Select the sheet one. Map. Here is the here we need to take a way, do manual mapping. So everything will show like, ignore here. That means names of the columns in input source are different from different to the destination columns except high rate. High rate is automatically mapped. See here. High rate is automatically mapped. When automatically mapped, one row is mapped to uh, input to the destination that means it will automatically map so uh, rest of the columns does not have mapped here we need to do manual mapping click the drop down here and click employee key as employee id and first name to first underscore name last name to la last underscore name middle name to middle underscore name like that I did we need to do we need not do any manual mapping birth date birth date here DOB and user ID is nothing but login ID mail address is email address and phone number phone to phone underscore number department name Department name to DEPT underscore name. So out of 10 columns, high data except high data, everything we did manual mapping. So here is some warning mission. Ignore the message. And I want to run the package now. And make sure once again there is no data in employee sheet. Except column names, there is no data here. Oh, I am running the package now. So all 296 rows have been loaded now. Go to the extra sheet. Uncheck the. So here. 296 rows are loaded, but only required uh, uh, 10 columns data have been loaded now. Now we, we, we don't load all 31 records, all 31 rows, all 31 columns data. We want only 10 columns data for 296 rows. So all the 296 are loaded. So this is how you need to do manual mapping. Once again, I'm telling manual mapping is uh, only at the time of the uh, auto mapping is failed. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.